and welcome back to Plata Pie Baseball on Classic Cookie Sports on the Classic Cookie Gaming Channel. We have a great matchup here as the Plata Pie take on the Blowfish back at home in Colonial Plaza. And uh, taking the mound will be Stoopy Tubrick in this day game. It is the uh, number two Plata Pie versus the number three Blowfish in the they're in the boss division, however, while the epic division is home to the Platypi. And strike one from Tubrick. There's a ball. Tubrick features a four-seamer, four-seamer, <laughs> four two-seamer, curve, and changeup. Has a 154 ERA, .94 whip, and 11 Ks on the year. He's got a 1-2 count now and a 2-2 two -two count now to the leadoff hitter for the Blowfish, Narub. Uwanga. The 2 2 pitch inside. The uh, Platypi interplay a half game back in their division. And that's down the line. Fair ball. Muffin's going to try to get it before it gets to the wall. He will. Bare hands. Fires in the second. And it's going to be cut off by McStevens playing shorts today. And it's a leadoff double for the Blowfish. And now Keg Gutterson will come in. He was playing third today. Batting second. Blowfish come in a game and a half back in the boss division. And he'll take ball one. Notable change. Kitty out of the lineup today. Hera O'Wugliams is going to lead off for her instead. And there's a strike. Kerry Cartman is playing second instead. Now base runner stealing third. Running on Jude and it's not in time. Oh my word. The, the uh, tag seemed to be there, the throw on the money, but s called safe at third. And now a big pop-up as another change in the lineup from last game. Linda Hand will make the grab and not even going. Well, now the throw will come into second, but it'll be cut off. Or sorry, come into home, but it'll be cut off. And now Marvin Seed steps in with now a one nothing lead for the Blowfish. With one out here. To start off the game, so not exactly what uh, Stuby or the Platypi had in mind, I would imagine, coming into this one. Uh, up the middle, base hit, and it's now going to be a runner on first with one out. And yeah, Linda Hand out there playing center for Willie Bacon, who was back just a game before having to be taken out again. He's really struggling right now at the plate, and there's strike one. Now we'll catch his own. Strike two. And runner going. The throw from Jude is well laid. It was a curve and nothing biting for Backman, who is catching on the day and batting cleanup. The 1 2. High. 2 and 2. The 2 2 pitch. And off. Oh, off the glove of Stuby. He's going to try to throw second to get the runner. Who wandered a little, almost wandered a little too far off, but he'll get back in time. And now runners are at first and second with still just one out. And now that's up the middle, but Cartman is going to field it. Fire to McStevens, who fires to first in time. So, uh, some heart palpitations, but eventually Stuby gets out of it with only one run uh, to their name. And now, with the Blowfish leading by one, here come the Platypi. Harold Williams leads off. She plays right, and she's been on fire lately. And now that's down the line, but foul. Yeah, they just didn't want to take Sky Rodriguez out, as that's ball high and or beefcake because they've both been doing well. So, but Kitty has been struggling a little bit. That's ball three, so they decided to give her a day off. And Harold will draw out a first at bat walk. Now here's Kerry Cartman, who's playing second today once again, and batting second. And now that's up. Second baseman will field it, fires the first. It's a double play. So, Beefcake Miss McStevens will step up to the plate with two outs and no one on for Bartholomew Dracula, who I did not properly introduce. He fires a four-seam, two-seam curve and fork ball. As he goes now 3-0 to Beefcake and will get a strike call. He has a 540 ERA, 132 whip, which will now go up as he walks Beefcake to bring up Muffin Studwick. 
And he has also struck out 19 on the year. And not this time. Lined up the middle, but oh, caught by Quan. Held up just enough to be caught at the knee. So, no retaliation by the Platypi. We head to the top of the second inning. He'll lead off the second baseman. She's batting uh, sixth in today's lineup for the Blowfish. And she's quickly down 0 2. The 0 2 low. And that's hit, and it's going to be a fair ball weekly hit on the first base side. Sandberg will field and step on the bag for out number one. And up steps Elvis Stanley batting seventh on the day. He's playing short, and he's going to immediately ground it to short. McStevens fields, fires, got him for out number two. So Ricky Kwan will step up, the center fielder. And Tubrick working quickly will fire strike one. And now that's hit. Hard into the gap. Linda dives. Can't make the play. It'll roll to the wall. She gets up and she'll fire it towards third base. Oh, way over. Beefcake's head. The cutoff, man. Uh, and Sky will field it with no trouble. And no runner advance to third. So it'll be a two-out double for the pitcher. So even if he doesn't get a hit here, they'll at least clear him. But, of course, you do not want that. As that's, oh, line down the line. Foul. Nearly some big trouble there. And actually, the outfield is going to take a step in, or a couple of steps in, and play shallow depth on uh, Bartholomew here, who actually is having his first at bat of the year today, and he strikes out for out number three to end the inning. So, despite the two out double, nothing's happening for the Blowfish in the top out of the second. Here come the Platypi, and Scooter Sandberg will lead off. He's got a 462 average on the year and has knocked in 11. Despite coming in and really wasn't that much of a run producer. And oh, diving try by Uwanga, but it will be a low line drive hit. Frozen rope on that one. And now Sky Rodriguez will step up. Ball one up. Sky's on fire, and oh, foul ball. Not to be confused, the sky is not on fire, but this sky is hitting, swinging it really well. And now strike two, and a three homers in our last, uh, in the last few weeks. And now, oh, double play though, unfortunately. She is double play prone with not the greatest of speed as Linda Hand steps up. And she will pop it up into shallow left center field. And Steed will get on the Steed and make the grab for out number three. So nothing doing for the Platypi. And Uwanga will lead off the inning. He is the leadoff hitter. And he doubled and eventually scored. And now that's up the middle base hit. And now you got to watch him. Might see some pickoffs this time. He stole third last time. And oh, the controller disconnects because the pitcher is taking way too long to deliver this ball. And they're setting up for a pitch out. Nothing's going though. And once again, this time a runner is going. The throw is late anyways. Oh my goodness, they were ready for it and everything, but nothing doing. And now ground ball, Cartman looks at third. It was hit, almost hit hard enough, but not quite. And he will fire the first. Marvin Seed will step in now with a runner at third as Uwanga did move up on the play, unfortunately. And now they are going to intentionally walk Marvin. Which will bring up uh, the cleanup hitter for the Blowfish once he fires this fourth pitch. And now runners on first and third to set up the double play. He'll be put on and Harry Backman will step in. He is speedy for a catcher, but you get it on the ground. As they did, but it's going to kick off of Sky's glove. Oh, man. Stuby got the double play ball, but unfortunately it could not be fielded cleanly over there at third. And now Jose Carloco will step in with runners at first and second. And a speed threat over at the second base bag. Watch for the double steal here. Ball one inside. And there it is. 
The throw to third, not in time. And it looks like they're going to go right after him here and concede the run if he hits it on the ground or not. The controller disconnects in confusion. And that's going to be ball four. So the bases will be loaded. And up comes Hill, the second baseman. Not super powerful, but she is speedy. As that's ball one, low and in. Be tough to turn two on her. Strike one. Three runs knocked in on the year. And now make it a fourth as Kerry Cartman will say two runs from scoring, but can only get one out on that one. Fires it to first. And now runners are at second and third with two outs and another run score. It's now three nothing. Blowfish. But stri as strike one is thrown, an end is looking more and more possible to this inning. And now, oh, a weak blooper, and that's going to fall. Sudwick will throw home, but the throw will be cut off by McStevens. It's 5 nothing Blowfish. Ricky Kwan steps up to the plate. Stubby quickly firing a pitch, and now that's hit to Sky. This time she'll feel cleanly, and... The inning will come to an end finally after four runs from the Blowfish. And Jude Harrell will lead off the bottom half of the third inning looking to get something back here against Jaculo. And strike one, not on there. Disgust from the controller as it disconnects. And a ball just outside, one and one. Now this is hammered into the gap, but hung up in a slice just enough for Luanga out there to make the grab and now Stubby will step in not having the ideal outing and now we'll round one to the shortstop or sorry to the second baseman for out number two here's Hera O'Wugliams and weakly hit to first Carloco will grab it and fire to first to the covering Jaculo who got just what the doctor ordered a 1-2-3 ending and he will step up to the plate now against Stubby. He went 0 for 1 with a K in his first at bat. And now lines one, but Owagliams will make the play without too much trouble for out number one. And Uwanga steps up to the plate. Two for two on the day. Strike one. The 0 1 pitch. 1 and 1. Hiring a changeup, and it is foul. Well, if they had first base coaches, that would have killed him. And here comes the 1 2 pitch. And that will hang up just enough for Linda Hand to make the grab. High pop up there. And there's out number two for Keg Gutterson. Ball one sporting those blonde mutton chops. Certainly a look right there for number 24. There's strike one. Strike two quickly after. And here comes the payoff pitch. Popped up behind the plate. Jude Harrell will not be able to make the play as it's hit. It will hit high off the netting behind uh, home plate as there's ball two. The two and two. Low, weak liner. And Carmen will field it off the ground, fire to first, and there's out number three. So, luckily, one, two, three inning for the Blowfish. And now the Platypie will bring up Kerry Cartman to the plate to try to get something going against Dracula. And he'll look at ball one below the knees. Ball two. They may have been a little too eager last inning. As they quickly went down one, two, three. The two, one. Will miss high. Three and one. The pitch. Down the middle, but a low liner will be fielded by Elvis Stanley on the ground and fired to first for out number one. Beefcake steps up to the plate now, hitting third today. And he'll take a ball inside. Now that's hit this time. Oh, it will be off the ground. And... Uh, but the throw will be made for out number two, and Muffin steps up. He got a hit in his ass at bat, and we'll take ball one inside on a fork ball. The 1-0 will catch a corner, strike one. And ball two high. The 2-1 pitch will miss high as well, 3-1. and one. And now that's up the middle, base hit on a hanger. Lucky that was Muffin up there. That one stayed in the ballpark, but it did. And now a two-out rally hopefully started as Scooter Sandbrick will scoot up to the plate. 
with two outs here. And, oh, way out in front of that one. Trying to hit it into the bullpen there. Strike one. Ball one too low. And, oh, caught a corner somewhere. And, oh, my word, the same spot. And the umpire must have a date after this one. And now Marvin, Marvin Steed will step up. And there's ball one. And now that's a liner into the gap. Linda will stop it from getting to the wall, but it kicks off her glove. The throw into second is not in time. So it will still be a double, but may have saved a triple as Harry Backman steps into the plate. The pitch up the middle and won't be fielded by the pitcher. Linda will fire it home. It would have been a great throw, but Scooter cuts it off as the runner was not going home. Had to pause there to make sure it got past the pitcher. And now that's hit right at Scooter and oh, he'll miss it. And the tail will bring it into the corner and or I guess the slice on that one, not the tail. And it will make runners at first and third with nobody out. Strike one on the corner. Strike two. The 0-2 pitch will be looked at and spat on for ball one. Now, now, oh, it got through again. Stuby not having a great day. Throw's going to come all the way into third. But no runner's advance will be first and second. And there's strike one. Strike two. And now S Scooter's going to try to go to second with it, but it's not going to be in time. The throwback to first won't be either. And now the bases will be loaded with nobody out and no choice but to go to the pin. And actually, they're going to go to another starting pitcher, Zumar, who is also a reliever. Well, sort of. He's... Long reliever slash a uh, short starter, I guess I should say. And now the 2-0 pitch strike one. The 2-1 will miss low. You cannot walk him here. And now it's grounded, and that's going to get through for a base hit. One run's going to score. The other one will hold up. It'll be station to station baseball. And now the pitcher will step in. He's 0 for 2 on the day. And I think they'll take the double play if he if they can get him to hit it on the ground. But that's going to be hit high and deep. Oh, Wugliams is going to make the play. Oh, my word. What a play by right fielder Errol Wugliams. A run will come in to score, but save the grand slam by the opposing pitcher who is having his first at-bats of the of the year today in this game and ball one inside what a play I thought that was a goner for sure ball two there's a strike two and one the three one pitch strike two the two and one will be hit Cartman fields, fires a second, on to first, not in time. We thought the inning was over, but a 10th run will score. It's 10 nothing. Two outs now at least with a runner on first. And completely fooled Keg on that one. Strike one. Fired into second. Two outs now. Strike one. The 0 one. And that's it high and deep, and Era's not robbing this one. Way out of the ballpark. Steve's second homer of the year, a 445 foot moonshot. Off of the big metal. Uh, don't even know what that is out in right field, and now. Another base hit, and can someone please stop the bleeding? 
As Zumar hasn't thrown many pitches, strike one, well, relatively speaking, 20, but has already given up, I believe, six runs, something like that, and there's ball two. Though, to his credit, some of them were, weren't were his. And now under it is Cartman, and very mercifully, that uh, inning will finally end. Eight runs scored. It's now 13-0 Blowfish, and that's really all I can say. Great play by Hera, but oh my goodness, I don't think there's much coming back from this one for the Platypie. And strike one on the corner. And yeah, the umpire behind the plate must have been angry about that one. He's trying to hurry off to his date. Shrinking the strike zone a bit, but this one is going to be robbed by Marvin. So... A rob job by the Blowfish as well. And there's out number one. And now that's going to just be foul. Linda, strike one. Ball one inside, not called a strike. The umpire is listening to me now. And that's caught for out number two. Jude Harrell, strike one. Ball one outside. One and two. And that's a weak little bloop in the left center field. Shallow, very shallow as uh, Stanley makes the play. And unfortunately, we're having to the sixth inning. Zumar still out there. And a high pop. A Wugliums will field it, it looks like. Yep, or well, we'll make the grab for out number one. Elvis Stanley steps up to the plate. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I apologize. Fielding it sounds a bit more like it's off the ground. And I've been saying that recently, even on pop-ups. So I, my, my apologies on that one. Just to clear that up as that one is fielded. And thrown to first for out number two. Come up. And just foul off out of the reach of the outstretched arm of Scooter Sandbrick at first. And now strike three, swung right through it. Zumar will get a strikeout to end the inning. And nothing doing for the Blowfish finally. <laughs> and Rufus will step in and they're gonna let him hit here. And he, it's, it's up the middle, base hit. <laughs> the third hit of the day for the Platypie is from the uh, pitcher. Oh, Rufus Zumar. Shows, it, shows the uh, hitters how it's done as Harold Wugliam steps up to the plate. Ball one high. Strike one. That's up the middle and caught. Zumar though, good base running to go back on the line drive. And Kerry Cartman will step up to the plate. Popped him up high on a front door curve, it looked like. And caught for out number two. Beefcake steps up to the plate at just 56 pitches. And now that's high and deep, but looks like center fielder is under it. Quan will make the grab for out number three. So, nothing doing for the Platypi once again. And we're headed to the top of the seventh inning. And... Chakula stepped up to the plate and he almost went yard in his last at bat showing those outfielders who were playing shallow in his first at bat what's for and now weekly hit oh just past Zumar but or you guys will back up bare hand fire got him out number one and my goodness Bartholomew has gotten robbed a couple times I must say in this one but it seems like the Platypie defense can only make good plays when the other, when the opposing pitcher is up. As already is there an 0-2 count, and that's up the middle for a base hit. Linda fields, fires back in the second, and we have runner on first with one out. As Gutterson will step in once again with those lovely mut, uh, mutton chops. And the first pitch will be a ball outside. Strike one. And now that's hit into right field. A Wugliams just ahead of the warning track. 
We'll make the grab for out number two. And now Marvin Steed steps up to the plate. Now that's a grounder up to the middle once again. Base hit. And my word, the Blowfish are just... They're just annihilating the Platypie. It's not even close. Not at all what we were expecting in this one. That's a ball inside. My goodness. And now that's going to be through past the diving Cartman. And Linda will get it into second. Linda goes first to third. It's now 14-0 Blowfish. No mercy for the uh, Blowfish onto the Platypie. And now that's up the middle. Base hit. Linda Field fires to third. I'll keep the runner at second. And now two outs. Runners at first and uh, second. That's a ball. And of course, you know, they don't want to throw away any at bats. But I mean, please, just end the inning. Thank you. Arrow Wugliams makes the grab in right field. Two run score. It's 15 nothing, And yep, that, that's just about... I mean, even the controller is upset about that as it disconnects once more. Muffin steps up. And he will look at strike one right on the corner. And now that's a liner, but of course caught by Steed. We're out, number one. Scooter Sandbrick steps in. He's one for two on the day. And we'll hit it up the middle, which will be fielded quickly by Hill. And my word... Can we get a hit from someone other than the pitcher, please? Sky Rodriguez steps up to the plate. And now that's a liner. And that's going to split the gap. And look at that. Quan will actually whip on it. And Sky Rodriguez will easily glide into second base for a two-out double. And maybe I should have asked for that earlier because uh, it finally happened. You know, oh, that's up the middle. Base hit. Sky's going to be waved home. The throw is late. Well, dropped. Muff, I don't know, but Backman, it got past them, and it, the run will score. And my goodness, the plot of I have scored a run. A miracle has happened today, folks. The plot of I have scored. And now a strike inside. It's one and one. Dude, Harold stepped up to the plate. Not up the middle. My word. We're actually getting some hits now. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle here in, well, the middle of August. And Zumar steps in. And they are going to finally pinch hit for him. And... Yeah, it's going to be Chase Tabule. Or Tabul, sorry, I've been saying it wrong this whole time, but he will pop up, and that'll end the inning for out number three. So, you know, back to reality, and uh, let's see here. It looks like there will be a double switch. Tabule will come in for the catcher Jude Harrell, and Remington Sharp. Will come into pitch. Ate up a lot of innings. Last, his last outing, which was the last game, and now he's going to immediately give up a leadoff double. And my word, can we stop the Blowfish? <laughs> they they're just on a roll today. My word. Not exactly the thing you expect. No, although so. we did come from that. Uh, or we did. Have experienced that in the last game, just we were lucky enough to have that be on our side. As strike two fired. Thought that was gonna be ball four, but once again the umpire is trying to get out of here quickly, but not that quickly apparently, as he calls that one ball four. You know, maybe it was just that uh uh Dracula bribed him before the game, who knows? And now Dracula is trying to bunt. And it's strike one. He's trying to bunt again and takes back. Strike two. And doesn't try to bunt. And somehow whacked that over his own head. And in over the dugout for a... Okay, now it's just very confusing. He's trying to bunt again. Maybe he doesn't want to get hit in the head by himself. 
I, I don't understand him right now. And now here's a bunt. Oh, and it somehow stayed fair. And oh my word. Scooter once again makes a defensive blunder on the day. And and yep, that's actually going to be the end of the day for Scooter. And oh, or not. Never mind, yes. A, uh, and Rory Crouch will come in and play first base. Strike one. To Uwanga, who, on the bright side, even though has uh, tantalized us today, does have a fun name to say. And my word, Remington just walked in a run. And it's now uh, 16 to 1. And we're doing great here on the Plata Pie Classic Cookie Sports Network. And oh my word. And yep, that that about sums up the game right there. A grand slam to make it 20 to 1. And good old mutton chops there. Keg Gutterson did it. And now comes up Marvin Steed who's 4 for 4. And no pot of pie pitcher seems to be sharp today. As Linda Hand will make a nice running grab. We'll admit that was a smooth play there. And Cartman will dive almost cartoon-like and can't make it to the ball, I guess. Linda will fire it in after it gets to the wall. And one out double. As Jose Carloco will step into the plate. There's strike one. Strike two. And hit so softly that the runner will be able to advance to third before Beefcake can field it, but there will be an out on the play for out number two. Runner advances to third. It's now uh, Hill up, and she will get the runner in. And, yep, Beefcake didn't even try to go for that one. It's 21 to 1. And the Bullfish must have been somewhat offended by the fact that the Platypi actually scored a run and there's strike one and yeah I'm sure you can see the uh, sponsorship behind the uh, plate there just spend money yeah that's that's what the Platypi were wishing they had done to the umpires ahead of this game like the blowfish did as that's high above the Sky Rodriguez glove and Unfortunately, no great play made there. It's now first and second. Good valiant effort, though, as Remington is now firing his 31st pitch. But, I mean, of course, the manager does not, in a 21-1 to -1 game, want to blow out his bullpen, which is already overworked. And Cartman will make the play for out number three, finally. After another six runs from the Blowfish, who just won't let up, it's now 21-1 to -1 with Hera O'Wugliams. Coming in, Pumper Lumpkins will come in to replace uh, the first baseman. And Era will swing through that one for strike one. Ball one away and up. Up the middle. And Stanley's going to make a great play. Throws the first. Got her for out number one. Gary Cartman steps up. And now that's grounded. And... Fielded on a hop by Gutterson. He'll make a play for out number two. And Beefcake will try to get something going here. Or, or not. Uh, and oh my. Well, he did put a ri give that one a ride. But the controller disconnects. As it's also annoyed that that is also caught. And uh, yeah, nothing doing. Once again. As Bartholomew will step in and... Hit and strike one. And he's been a big uh, question mark today and from the plate. <laughs> Almost had a himself a grand slam earlier, but will pop out to Hera. He made the great play on him earlier for out number two. Sorry, out number one. Wishful thinking as that's a ball outside. And, oh, the umpire down the line quickly get out of the way but somehow signals foul despite the fact not being able to see where the ball landed and one and two low liner and Linda will trap it and the inning 
continues with one out for Keg Cutterson, who really put the nail in the coffin. If if there wasn't one already, and made it a twenty to nothing or twenty to one game. His last at bat, and now will he won't hit into a double play. That's all that matters. And up comes Marvin Seed against a pitcher who. By, oh, oh, we might have a double play ball. Three, sell. So, never mind. And I said the wrong number to begin with. That was supposed to be six for three, but only six four will do the job as three just couldn't quite get there fast enough. And now right to Cartman, who will make the grab for out number three, finally. And we might finally see be seeing an end to this game yet as Delgado comes into play third. And Muffin won't let it in so quickly. He wants our suffering to continue and persist even longer. As that's a hit up the middle to lead off the inning. Rory Crowds, who's now playing first base, will step in for his first at bat of the day. And he will take a ball inside. Now one outside, 2-0. And, and he's going to ground into a double play. Thank you, Rory, for ending this suffering uh, sooner than Muffin was trying to do and now Sky Rodriguez will step in and she will whack one foul for strike one strike two the 0-2 and in that one will be caught in the gap by Uwanga to finally end this slaughter of a game 21 to 1 the blowfish win it unfortunately today they scored 21 runs on 25 hits and didn't commit a single error and uh Platypi scored in return one run scattered seven hits and though only having one physical hair error had many many mental errors and uh the win goes to Jacula who Pitched a complete game, nine innings, seven hits scattered, an earned run, a couple walks, and a K. He'll improve his record to two and two on the year. Stuby will uh, decline to two and two as he picks up his second loss of the year. Four innings pitched, ten hits, ten earned runs, two walks, and a K to his name. And uh, yep, our players of the game. Sponsored by Metalhead Software, hashtag not a sponsor, is Marvin Steed. He went four for six, homer, double, three ribbies, and a and four runs scored. Uwanga is number two. Four for six of the double, two RBIs, five runs, and two stolen bases. While Keg Gutterson went three for six with a homer. That was that grand slam that was very unnecessary with two runs scored. Well, that has been a very, very special edition of Tuesday Night Baseball, which, uh, or I guess I should say Tuesday Afternoon Baseball, as, uh, yeah, it was great. Um, so, if you enjoyed this one, please uh, subscribe down below, as we could not do this uh, without the help of the Classic Cookie Gaming Channel, Classic Cookie Sports. And, yep, yeah, once again, this one was a doozy. Please subscribe to ease the pain of myself and the controller. And even though I didn't, I hope you enjoyed this one. Have an amazing day.